I'm Lucy, welcome to Hippie Shape TV. Earlier today I watched my youngest child Juno, she's not quite two, climb up a fence, turn around and then launch herself off it, landing squarely on her two feet with her knees bent, perfect parachute landing, um, and absolutely nailed it. She is just so physically capable. She has this prowess within her body uh, as if she's almost got the perfect map of all her limbs and the way they work imprinted in her mind and she can just execute anything she wants to do. It made me wonder how much of that is to do with her personality type, the fact that she takes after my husband, Tim, her daddy, rather than me, who is um, quite uncoordinated to say the least. Um, is it that or is it the fact that we did things quite differently with her compared to our first child Ramona? The biggest different thing we did with um, Gino was embracing the world of natural motor development within babies, um, which is something that actually came out of a Hungarian post-war orphanage um, led by an amazing, incredible woman called Emmy Pickler who basically observed thousands and thousands of babies and the way that they develop naturally and discovered that if they were left alone and not propped up to sitting or made to stand and walk and strapped into certain things, that they were much more um, uh, able within their bodies. She developed a whole theory around this, um, backed up by all sorts of um, current research that says if you allow your baby to just um, do things when they're ready, such as crawl um, and walk and sit, um, then they do those things much better without any of the falling over, as if um, their brain is in the perfect state to move on to this next step. One of the things involves not actually giving your baby a toy into their hand until they're ready to reach for a toy, um, something of their choosing. It also means no high chairs and no bouncers and no walkers. It means no tummy time until they can roll over and be on their tummy themselves. So it's quite a different world compared to what we're used to in mainstream society. The reason we became such big fans of um, natural gross motor development was because it seemed to fit with our whole parenting philosophy of being child-led, um, particularly on things like their own learning and their own development. We believe that children know best when they're ready to take on the next step either in their physical discovery or in their mental discovery. For us, it seemed to fit with the idea that children can be the conductors of their own orchestra. That's why we're big fans of natural gross motor development and that's probably the biggest thing that we've done differently between our two children. If you want more of this stuff, do look up Penny Brownlee, she's awesome and the Pickler Institute is doing some really great stuff with getting out some of Emmy Pickler's um, wisdom on this issue. Do leave a comment if you've done a parenting thing differently, I'd love to hear from you.